On view in the main gallery is Myron Kaufman's Still Perplexed. Witty narrative, a preternaturally bright palette, and an intuitive sense of composition are the hallmarks of Myron's work. Nothing is sacred as he tackles subjects as far-ranging as Wall Street, religion, Dick Cheney, Little Orphan Annie, aging, nudity, and sexuality. Drawn initially to the bright colors and free-flowing creativity of these paintings, one's attention is ultimately held by the narrative simultaneously evoking humor, emotional discomfort, and the desire to know more, one feels privileged to peek into the wonderfully strange psyche of Myron Kaufman. On view in the library are new watercolors by New York-based artist Marilyn Sivtanik. Marilyn began painting 15 years ago soon after finishing a PhD in policy analysis at the Rand Graduate School. Having spent most of her life in academia up to that point, she wanted to experience making art in the freshest, most organic way possible and purposely steered clear of any formal instruction. She began painting figuratively, but soon fantasy elements and the verticality of Manhattan's landscape led to the more abstract works on view here. On view in the garden are ceramic sculptures by Elaine Carhart. The brightly colored figures and animals depicted in Elaine's sculptures are inspired by her love of pattern and her fascination with illuminated manuscripts, not only from the Western medieval period, but also from the Persian and Mughal periods. The sculptures are constructed using the slab method with low fire terracotta clay fired to cone 06. Colored ingobes, which are liquid clay slips of varying compositions, and clear low-fire glaze are then applied to color and finish the pieces. Also on view in the garden is a site-specific installation by Francesco Siqueiros. Paraiso Terrinal, or Earthly Paradise, represents the sacred and the profane as it relates to work, production, and creativity. The installation consists of two separate parts. Garden as object involves the construction of a garden interfacing and interrelating in a multimedia composition. The garden is viewed as an armature or canvas upon which various relationships are instigated, including color and forms of the plants and vegetables in their surrounding area. Open-ended materials are used as equivalent relationships are sought in this painterly endeavor. Garden as subject involves the construction of a vegetable garden surrounded by an architectonic structure. The structure holds screens for projections of stills and video. The garden itself has been cut out of the cement surface of an old patio. This garden represents the engagement of labor as an act of independence, self-reliance, and creative transformation. The intention of the installation is to present the aesthetic of work production engaged in questioning the boundaries between consumption, the production of goods, and the transformation of raw materials. Unfortunately, due to an unruly guest who wouldn't stop doing gymnastics on the scaffolding during the February 21st opening reception, the scaffolding company was forced to remove their equipment for safety reasons. At the time of the production of this video, Francesco is in the process of reconfiguring the installation without the scaffolding. Thank you.